So hopefully you can hear me over all the pumps and stuff. Trying to do whoop, a better video of my Queensland groper or bumblebee groper. So he, she is captive bred. Had him about a year. He's now close on a foot long. It's in a four foot by four foot tank. So we are going to feed him. If you would like to eat. We have pieces of fish and a grouper, pieces of fish. So let's see if we can get him to come over here. Go on. Straight in the log. He still manages to fit in the log. <laughs> but we will see if he wants another one. <laughs> Decent piece of fish. Would you like another one? Come on. There we go. There you go. It's a decent sized tank, but we're going to put him in a big pond eventually. So, probably in about a few months. Maybe. <laughs> there we go. Queensland Groper. I also forgot to add that he is in full salt water. So there's a sump underneath and all that for filtration, wave makers, what have you. But also, he is going to get huge. So I think the biggest they can get is about eight and a half foot or something like that. In captivity, have no idea how big they'll get, but do have plans on a, a 5,000 litre pool for them. And then we'll go bigger than that than we need to, which I'm guessing would be 20,000 litres, something like that. Cost lots of money, but gotta look after little bugger. They actually are bred for food. So they are a food fish, which is just bizarre. Seem they're such an awesome, huge fish. Can't you just breed kippers or some rubbish like that? But anyway, he will have a good home. Hopefully he won't jump out, cark it, choke on something, but otherwise all good. There we go.